Welcome back to another video on my channel. And as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be previewing the Champions League final. The upcoming Champions League final is between Dortmund and Real Madrid. And let's get right into it. So I've got my computer here and there'll be a few segments I'm going to be discussing in this video, such as the key players, the knockout stage run in, the history between the two clubs in the Champions League and the opposing managers. Firstly, I want to talk about the knockout games that both teams have been through and specifically the semi-finals. For the round of 16, the Dortmund team faced PSV where they were held 1-0 in the first leg, but they came back to win 2-0 with a goal from Jadon Sancho in the second leg. In the quarterfinals, they faced a tougher opposition in Atletico Madrid and they actually went down 2-1 to Atletico Madrid in the first leg. But in, in the second leg, I'd like to come out and say it's probably the craziest game other than Real Madrid Man City, a 3-3 game. That's probably the craziest game this Champions League season, where Dortmund won 4-2 at uh, the Signal Aduma Park. I think it's called the Dortmund Stadium. It was a crazy atmosphere, and Atletico took the lead twice on the night, I believe, and they were very close to winning, but in the end, Dortmund came out on top. In the semi-final, they, placed, they played PSG, where they lined up with a defensive structure, and they outplayed PSG in a number of ways over the two legs, didn't concede a goal, and they won 1-0 home and away. It was Max Hummel's important goal that saw them through to the final. I believe that Dorman's defensive structure was one of the main reasons why they were able to shut down PSG so effectively. I know over the two leagues, PSG hit the woodwork six times, which is a crazy amount, if, you, if I'm being honest. They were very unlucky, but sometimes in football you do need a bit of luck, and Dortmund certainly had that luck in the semi-final. Now, moving on to Real Madrid. I have a Real Madrid shirt on, but I'm supporting Dortmund in this game. I'll talk about that later on in the video. I'd say Real Madrid had a pretty shaky run-in to the Champions League final. They were held 1-0 in Leipzig in the second leg, but because of their foot 1-0 win in the first leg, they were able to just squeeze through to Leipzig. Then in the quarterfinals, they played Man City, where lots of people argue Man City deserved to win that game. But in the first leg, it was a 3 all draw at... Uh, Santiago Bernabeu with a number of great goals and some will say it's the best Champions League game this season. Then in the second leg they were held 1-0 at the Etihad. Obviously I think it was last year they were absolutely demolished at the Etihad and as Peter Jerry said once they won the penalty shootout they got revenge. It was Rudiger's penalty which put them through to the semi-finals where they played Bayern Munich. And obviously my team Arsenal got knocked out by Bayern Munich so it was a bittersweet game. And the first leg ended 2-0. Another draw in the first leg, which seems like there's been so many of them this season. And the second leg was... Well, it was it was 2-1 to Real Madrid with Hosselu scoring a last gasp double to, to overturn the deficit that they faced from Alfonso Davies' earlier goal. There was a bit of controversy. Could have, the Real Madrid goal have been offside? Could Bayern's goal could, should have stood? Or something like that. I don't really watch it, but there's a lot of controversy surrounding the games. Either way, Real Madrid found a way, as they always seem to do in the Champions League. That is why they're probably the best team of all time. So, Real Madrid against Dortmund, I hope it offers a more exciting final than the ones we've seen a few years ago. Obviously, last year it was Inter Milan against Man City, which wasn't that enjoyable, in my opinion. Oh no, it was, sorry, it was... was that, am I got that right? I think I have, yeah. It was 1-0 with Rodri's goal, it wasn't that exciting, and then... The year before that, I think we had Real Madrid against Liverpool. It was another 1-0. Not that exciting. You know, Liverpool dominated, but Courtois had a masterclass that game. And the year before, I believe it was Chelsea against Man City. Another 1-0. Nil, another nil. And then I think the year before that was Bayern PSG with the no fans, no supporters. But Bayern won that 1-0. So over the years, I'd say there's been a few you know, less exciting finals. But hopefully this one offers... A more exciting prospect. Now I'd like to mention I think that Real Madrid do have a massive advantage here not only do I think they have a stronger team I think the psychological advantage that winning a Champions League before offers and being in these scenarios so many times as a club it's the badge and the history behind it all. They've won a Champions League they've won 14 Champions Leagues so they have a chance to win 15 Champions Leagues this year and with the likes of Modric and Rodrigo and Vinicius already winning a Champions League before you know, this it just gives them that advantage, the extra confidence, and 
ability to trust in what they can do. And with Bellingham now, you know, this could be a one-sided affair. Dortmund have only won the Champions League once. That was back in the 1996-1997 season, and they won the final against Juventus. So they're relatively new to this experience, but also they'd love to get revenge at Wembley as last time out. As some of you all know, Bayern Munich beat Dortmund in the 2012-2013 Champions League final. So I know Dortmund would absolutely love to get a win here at Wembley. And as it's Royce, Royce's last game, I believe, and Max Hummels, who was both of them were both in the Champions League final back in 2013. So I, I know Royce would love it as a good send-off for him to win the Champions League final. Now moving over to the managers now, Ancelotti has won the Champions League four times and he could win it five times. You know, that could be what separates him as the greatest manager of all time. I know it's a discussion lots of people will be having if he does win this Champions League because that's just unheard of. Uh, winning five Champions Leagues would be crazy. So that could be a really big advantage for him as well. On the opposition, I think the opposition manager, Dortmund, Endon Terzic, has a, he was actually a Borussia Dortmund scout the last time Dortmund were in the Champions League final back in 2013. And he was helping out Jurgen Klopp with the Youth Academy scouting. So that's quite interesting. I think his experience around the club, obviously he's been at the club for a long time, on and off. Um, but I think, yeah, it'll be it'll be an interesting matchup. Obviously, an experienced manager and a very inexperienced manager in the Champions League, but it will definitely be exciting. Now, talk about their past encounters in the 2012-2013 season, which I've mentioned a bit throughout this video already. Real Madrid actually lost to Dortmund in the semi-finals. That was when Lewandowski scored four goals. If you remember, that was quite a long time ago, but it was a brilliant game from Lewandowski. And in the second leg. Real Madrid did win 2-0, but it was too little, too late for them. So that's quite interesting, actually. They And then the 17-18 season, which was the last time these two sides met, Real Madrid did the double over them in the group stage with Ronaldo scoring. And it was pretty much prime Real Madrid, so there's not much you can do there. Now talk about the key matchups. We've got the probably one of the best players in Dortmund, I'd say Max Hummels and Bellingham or Vinicius Jr. I think Vinicius Jr. has been better than Bramwood, uh, sorry, than Bellingham this season, which will be quite surprising to a lot of you. I'm sure people will be thinking Bellingham's the star boy and Vinicius isn't as good. But I think Vinicius has carried Bramwood on a lot of occasions this season, scoring crucial goals, and it's the reason why they're probably going to win the La Liga as well. So taking all this into consideration, who do I think will win the Champions League? Well, honestly, I would love to see Borussia Dortmund win it because it would be Marco Royce's last, last game for the club, I believe, and it would just be... Amazing to see Borussia Dortmund win it. Growing up, I've seen Real Madrid win it a lot, and uh, obviously they are a European powerhouse, but I'd love to see Dortmund win it. Taking that all into account, you know, I love Dortmund, but I just don't think this squad's strong enough to, to beat Real Madrid, and I do think Real Madrid will win 2 0 in normal time. Bellingham could get a goal, and Rodrigo Vinic or Vinicius will get a goal. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I've been away for quite a while, haven't uploaded in few months but I'm hoping to be back hope to upload a lot more content around the Euro 2024 which is coming up so I look forward to doing that and more content around football as well like this so if you enjoyed please let me know thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one